Jenny here from The Bear and the Fox and with me I have my little Mr. Fox and today I'm going to share with you the books that Mr. Fox got for his birthday but he's a little bit shy so I'm going to do it. He just wanted to come and say hi at the beginning. You're going to go off and play now, I'll show them your books, okay? There we go. First up we have Rabbit and Bear. The Pest in the Nest. This is from the Rabbit and Bear series that Mr. Fox is a big fan of. He's already got a couple of books and this is the latest one to add to his collection. It's uh, kind of a cross between a picture book and a chapter book. So it's a bit shorter than a chapter book. It doesn't actually have chapters. It's one continuous story and it's fully illustrated though so it's great for kids transitioning from picture books to chapter books and we actually did a review of one of the other rabbit and bear books in our chapter book of the month series so you might want to go and check that out then we've got the 2020 nature month by month a children's almanac so mr fox got an explorer kit for his birthday and I thought this would be a great book to go with that. So it's got different things um, in nature that you can do for every month of the year. Then we've got The Dare Devil's Guide to Dangerous Places. This is one of Mr. Fox's favorite books. We've actually borrowed this one from the library in the past and we renewed it so many times that in the end I got him his own copy for his birthday. And each page has a dangerous place around the world and some facts about it so it's it's a non-fiction book and he absolutely loves this and we kind of read about one or two dangerous places every night love a little bedtime story there so if you've got kids who like fact books this is a really good one then we've got another picture book grumpy duck which is about a duck who's feeling very grumpy and is followed around by a little gray cloud that keeps getting bigger and bigger and this is a great book for kids to talk about feelings and dealing with feelings and dealing with grumpy feelings. And last but not least, a German picture book, Der Groll Troll, which is actually also about feeling grumpy and dealing with your feelings. In this case, it's a troll who's feeling a bit grumpy and out of sorts with everyone and everything. And it's another great book about dealing with feelings for little kids. I'm not sure if there's an English translation of this but if you know even a little bit of German, I think you would love this. It's a really cute story with very cute illustrations. So those were all the books that Mr. Fox got for his fifth birthday a couple of months ago. As always, you can find all the details over on my blog. And I will see you next time. Happy reading. Bye.